Lately, I've been seeing this spray paint effect pop up everywhere. From the streets of LA's Arts District, a melting pot of diverse artwork and graffiti culture, to high-end streetwear brands like Palm Angels and Off-White who are wearing this urban aesthetic loud and proud. LA's graffiti scene is a dynamic, ever-evolving canvas where artists express identity, politics, and culture, making it one of the most influential street art hubs in the world. Today, we're breaking down this iconic spray paint style and recreating it from scratch in Photoshop. I'll walk you through each step so you can create realistic spray paint designs, perfect for t-shirts, posters, branding, or just to boost your design skills. Let's start by setting up our project in Photoshop. We already have a 12 by 16 inch document at 300 dpi. And the image we're using is already placed inside. We also have the files needed for this tutorial. These include the spray stencil text effect action, spray paint brushes, and the displacement map. All of these files are free to download so you can grab them and follow along with the tutorial as we go. Once these files are uploaded, these will appear in their respective panels. Brushes in the brush panel, the action in the actions panel, and the displacement map ready for use. Now that our materials are ready, let's add typography to our design. We'll use a stencil type font for a more rugged street art feel that fits with the spray paint effect we're going for. At this stage, we're just placing them on the canvas, arranging the layout elements to achieve a balanced composition. Once the layout is good, we'll proceed to the next step. Now we'll add the effect to our typography using the action. In the actions panel, click the drop down, and you'll see different options for how strong the effect will be on the typography. You can choose from a small effect to an extreme one, for now, let's select the large option so we can see how the effect looks. Once you've selected large, press play, and Photoshop will apply the effect automatically. During the action, a folder will appear asking you to locate the displacement file. Just click the first one, and when another folder pops up, click the second displacement file. Keep pressing OK until you're asked to choose a color for the effect. Lastly, Go back to the Actions panel. At the bottom of the Action list, you'll see a DTF-friendly action. Every time you apply the effect, click this to make the design printable for DTF printing. And we're done. You'll now see the effect applied to your typography. You can do this to other layers as desired and experiment with different settings. And there you go, you now have a stencil spray effect applied to your design. To wrap it up, let's add some extra spray effects using our spray paint brushes for that final touch of texture. I'll also throw in a few additional elements like shapes to give the design more character and depth. Now this design is ready to go. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new tip. Want more? Click the link and unlock something awesome. Visit us at transfersuperstars.com and I'll see you in the next tutorial.